what is additive manufacturing? Additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, is a process that creates a physical object from a digital design. An engineer designs the object using computer-aided design, or CAD, software. The 3D design file is then sliced into thin layers and uploaded to an additive manufacturing machine. The manufacturing process begins once an extremely thin layer of metal powder is spread across the platform. A heat source, such as laser or electron beam, then melts the first layer of the 3D design. The platform is lowered and another layer of metal powder is spread across the platform. The layering and melting process is then repeated until the part is complete. The metallic powder is removed and a physical object is revealed. Additive manufacturing allows you to produce parts that are lighter, stronger, and more durable than traditionally made parts. Build times are faster. Engineers can add precise features and complex geometries without increasing cost. In fact, additive manufacturing is revolutionizing the way we work.
technologies create solid parts from 3D models layer by layer. Among them is SLA. SLA stands for Stereolithography, a 3D printing process that uses a UV laser to cure liquid resin into hardened plastic. Upside down or inverted stereolithography is the most common SLA system. Depending on the machine, resin is either poured into a tank by a user or dispensed automatically from a cartridge. At the beginning of the print, a build platform is lowered into the resin, leaving only a thin layer of liquid in between the platform and the bottom of the tank. Galvanometers direct the UV laser through a transparent window at the bottom of the resin tank, drawing a cross-section of the 3D model and selectively hardening the material. The print is built in consecutive layers, each less than 100 microns thick. When a layer is complete, the part is peeled from the bottom of the tank, letting fresh resin flow beneath, and the platform is lowered once again. Originally developed in the 80s, SLA was confined to large industrial machines until recently. Today, desktop stereolithography offers affordable, high-resolution 3D printing that fits conveniently in your workspace. SLA allows for the use of a wide range of materials with diverse physical properties. Whether you're an engineer, product designer, sculptor, jeweler, or dentist, there's a material for your application. To take what's in your imagination and put it in your hands, it's pure magic. It seems so out of this world. You know, this can put manufacturing in a lot more people's hands. Polyjet is amazing because of the type of quality that you get. You get really high definition, you get great surface resolutions, and you can have multiple parts in your hands within hours. It's the fastest technology that we offer. Polyjet really shines in, with, with its surface finish and its ability to, to resolve very fine features. The Polyjet process extrudes out or jets out a liquid resin that can be cured with a UV light. They are made to react to ultraviolet light, and so that's the catalyst that ca causes these two separate components to come together to form the third you know, solid plastic component. So with the Polyjet system, it jets out a thin layer of the photopolymer resin, it cures it with the UV light, and then builds a cross-section of that part layer by layer. So after one cross-section is deposited, the platform will drop down, allowing the gantry to pass with layer number two, and then every subsequent layer after that. When the part has completed building, we will remove it from the platform. So the parts coming off of this technology are really smooth, they don't require as much hand finishing and post finishing after, and they can create parts with really, really good looking detail. We do paint ready, we do very custom detailed work, so if you're looking for that amazing showpiece for a trade show, that's something that we can definitely accomplish in-house. They say a picture's worth a thousand words, a part's worth a thousand pictures. <laughs> what we can do with Polyjet, there's just such a wide range in materials. We're printing hard plastics, and we're printing soft shore material, and we're able to make overmold pieces now where you're combining the two materials. So like a drill that has a hard substrate and a rubber grip, you can build that in one piece. You know, as Stratus is direct manufacturing, having the engineering talent on our end to work with the engineering talent on the customer's end is real exciting because that's where the good stuff happens. You get to be a part of someone's idea and then make that a reality. And if we put those tools in their hands, we don't know what they're gonna come up with. And that is just awesome to, you know, I can't wait to just kind of sit back and watch what's gonna happen out of that. HP's multi-jet fusion technology produces quality, functional parts at a production speed which is up to 10 times faster than today's competing products. Unlike the slow point processes of some current technologies, HP's multi-jet fusion technology processes parts in two fast, area-wide passes to achieve top speed part production. The process begins by applying a layer of material in a work area. 
in the opposite direction in one continuous pass, we print fusing and detailing agents across the full working area. This pass combines the printing with the fusing energy, and the process is then completed. HP's proprietary architecture is capable of printing 30 million drops per second along every single inch of bed width, enabling extreme precision and dimensional accuracy. To produce truly functional parts, it's important to ensure that the material has been properly fused and that part edges are smooth and well-defined. To achieve part quality at speed, HP invented a multi-agent printing process. In this process, a fusing agent is applied on a material layer where the particles are meant to fuse together. A detailing agent is applied to modify fusing and create fine detail and smooth surfaces. The area is exposed to energy, and reactions between the agents and the material cause the material to selectively fuse together to form the part. The fusing process requires accurate temperature control across the entire material layer. HP Multijet Fusion's closed-loop thermal control system does this by measuring temperatures at hundreds of points on the material bed. This information then determines which areas receive more energy to raise the temperature and which areas are cooled, allowing for control of thermal bleed and layer-to-layer -layer fusing and cooling. The result is full control over mechanical properties, dimensional accuracy, and repeatability. The process is then repeated until a complete quality, truly functional part has been formed. This is how HP's proprietary area-wide processing compares with existing popular point processing technologies for building functional parts. In the time it takes these slower point processes to build 1,000 parts, HP's multi-jet fusion technology would have created several thousands of parts. Using HP's proprietary multi-agent printing, the HP multi-jet fusion technology achieves new levels of part quality at these breakthrough speeds. In 3D design and printing, a voxel represents a value on a regular grid in a three-dimensional space, like a pixel with volume. By controlling the properties of each individual voxel through agents, HP Multijet Fusion can produce parts that can't be made by other methods. Taking advantage of HP's in-depth knowledge of color science, HP's 3D printers could in the future selectively print a different color at each volumetric pixel. A single 3D printed part could have literally millions of colors. But more than just full color printing of functional parts, HP's multi-agent system enables a fundamentally different approach that could unlock the full potential of 3D printing. At each voxel, HP transforming agents could control surface texture, wear, and friction, enabling single parts with multiple textures or the monitoring of part performance. The transforming agents could control the translucency of each voxel, enabling the printing of lenses or sensors. We could also optimize the strength and stiffness in portions of a part and print elastic voxels in other portions of the part. The conductivity of certain voxels could also be controlled, enabling embedded electronics. HP transforming agents could also be used to enable the printing of new advanced materials or enable emulating different materials at each voxel. HP's multi-jet fusion technology could enable design and manufacturing possibilities that surpass the limits of our imagination. Binder jetting additive manufacturing is a process inspired by the technology of inkjet printers. 
In this process, a liquid binder is selectively deposited on a powder bed with a printhead. It is a growing process that allows the production of parts for the manufacturing, medical and dental industries. This technique enables the production of metallic and ceramic parts as well as sand molds for castings. To start the process, a 3D drawing is imported into the printer software. The powder to be used is placed in a dispenser which ensures a constant supply during printing. First, a powder layer of a specific thickness is spread. Thereafter, the printing head, moving on two axes, projects the binder where is necessary. Before moving on to the next layer, the solvent contained in the binder is evaporated by an incandescent lamp. The powder bed is then lowered and a new powder layer is deposited. Therefore, the production takes place in a series of steps that build the part layer by layer. When the cycle is completed, the binder is cured by placing the container in a furnace. The temperature and time depend on the type of binder employed during printing. After this step, unbound particles are removed to reveal the part or the mold. After this step, the sand molds are ready to be used in foundries. The metal and ceramic parts must undergo sintering, infiltration, heat treatment or hot isostatic pressing before being used.
Diffused Deposition Modeling, or FDM, is a layer additive manufacturing process that uses production grade thermoplastic materials to produce both prototype and end use parts. This technology is known to accurately produce feature details and has an excellent strength to weight ratio. FDM is ideal for concept models, functional prototypes, manufacturing aids, and low volume end use parts. The FDM process begins by slicing 3D CAD data into layers. The data is then transferred to a machine, which constructs the part layer by layer upon a build platform. Thin thread-like spools of thermoplastic and support material are used to create each cross-section of the part. Similar to a hot melt glue gun, uncoiled material is slowly extruded through dual heated nozzles. The extrusion nozzles precisely lay down both support and thermoplastic material upon the preceding layers. The extrusion nozzle continues to move in a horizontal XY plane while the build platform moves down, building the part layer by layer. The finished part is removed from the build platform and cleaned of its support material. Raw FDM parts have visible layer lines. However, service providers such as Solid Concepts offer multiple finishing options to create smooth, even surface parts including hand sanding, assembly and cosmetic paint. Since FDM parts are constructed with production grade thermoplastics including ABS, polycarbonate and Ultim, they are both functional and durable. FDM is utilized in a number of industries, including aerospace, automotive, industrial, commercial, and medical. Direct Metal Laser Sintering, also known as DMLS, is an additive manufacturing technology that creates metal parts directly from 3D CAD data without the need for tooling. DMLS utilizes a variety of metal and alloy materials such as stainless steel, cobalt chrome, and Inconel to create strong, durable parts and prototypes. DMLS is an excellent choice for functional metal prototypes, high temperature applications, and end-use parts. The DMLS process begins in the same fashion as other layer additive manufacturing technologies. A program takes 3D CAD data and mathematically slices it into 2D cross sections. Each of these sections will act as a blueprint telling the DMLS machine exactly where to center the metal material. The data is then transferred to the DMLS equipment. A recoder assembly pushes powdered metal material from the powder supply to create a uniform layer over the base plate. A laser then draws a 2D cross section on the surface of the build material, heating and fusing the material. Once a single layer is complete, the base plate is lowered just enough to make room for the next layer. More material is raised from the cartridge and recoded evenly upon the previously centered layer. The DMLS machine continues to center layer upon layer, building from the bottom up. As the part is built, support structures are added to give supplemental strength to fine features and overhanging surfaces. The completed part is then removed from the base plate and treated with an age-hardening heat process to further harden the part. Any support structures are also removed at this time. With numerous surface treatment and hand polishing options available through service providers such as Solid Concepts, DMLS parts can be used in highly cosmetic applications. Typical uses for DMLS include tools and manufacturing aids, small integrated structures, dental components, surgical implants, and aerospace parts.